Hello, Ani, and welcome to the Phonics Apps online tutorial brought to you by Kendra Gwintig. I'm your host, Jennifer Holub. There are so many apps available for Phonics, it's unbelievable. It's impossible for me to tell you about all of them because there literally are hundreds, but these are some of the ones I really like. I'll go to my Phonics folder. Sight Words is a very basic one. It's good for um, any age. And let's try the first grade set. This um, app allows you to just show sight words very big and clearly. As you can see, it's reading these words out to me. You can go into the settings, which is up here, and have the sound off so that it won't actually read out to you. As you can see in the settings, you can actually um, do some looping, so it'll go back to the same word it was at before. You can actually say, uh, change the font as well. So maybe you'd like to do the chalkboard font and the font color. So now we don't have the sound and the font color and type is different. So apps like these are great for a center and you might want to put on the guided access feature so that the students would not be able to leave this app in favor of going to something like Angry Birds. If you'd like to find out more about guided access or how to lock the screen onto an app, please visit my guided access um, online tutorial. All right, so as you can see, there's a whole host of sets of um, flashcards there. Let's exit out of that app. So that was the Sight Words app. This one is great too. It's Sight Words for grade one and two. It's got some sound. All right, so there's a few different games here. Let's do the Unscramble. Again, this is a great app for a, oops, for a, a center. Okay, a few things about apps, as I've said before, you may want to consider having headphones for some of the apps or for center time because it will get a little noisy and students may get distracted. Um, usually there's a feature to go back to the home um, area of the app so that you can choose another activity or redo the settings. Settings up here um, you can switch from grade one to grade two, you can turn off the music, and you can turn on random. I'm not sure what that means. Okay, so another activity. Also, A -L -S -O, also -E okay, so a bit more informative. Behind. Okay, that's the word tour. Let's exit out of that app and go on to another one. This Sight Words one is very interesting as well. Okay, it's got an advertisement. I'll exit out of there. Here we have to write the word. All right. To record yourself, touch and hold the record button. After the beep, record yourself and lift your finger when you are finished recording. So, I can record myself uh, reading this. Is. Is. So that might be uh, neat for some students to do. Okay, let's go back to the beginning. Oh. A. A. oh, looks like when you press on the star, it helps you. Okay, very interesting. Here's the home button. Okay, so that is some sight words. Um, we'll exit out of there. That was the sight words app. Phonics Genius is a very um, useful app when teaching the um, uh, phonemes and the ending of sounds, um, even uh, very intricate things like engine. Oh, Eshin, I mean. <laughs> wow. Looks like I need some practice with my phonics. Deletion. Okay, so you can see where that would be really helpful for some students who need that extra practice. So that's Phonics Genius. Uh, phonics Vowels is very um, child friendly. Let's see. I add my name. Okay, and we'll go into this game here. A. 
as you can see, when I press on the letter, it says the sound. And there is the dancing pterodactyl. Hey. If I put in the wrong letter, it gives me that feedback, so it doesn't let the student have have the wrong uh, letter. All right, we'll exit out of there. That was the Phonics Vowels app, Spelling Bug. We'll do Chapter One. Okay. I wonder if it will let me, oh, it won't let me put a letter into the incorrect spot. As you can see, I'm trying to put the X at the beginning, and it's um, pushing it away. So, okay, that's spelling bug. Tic-tac-toe is a, a very interesting app. Okay, this is a tic-tac-toe board right now, and I have to answer these questions in order to put my X there. So let's go with this one so far. Which of these words has a different ending sound than the others? All right. So I can put my X there. Now the O's turn. So this is a two-player game. What are the first two letters of the picture below? Now the O has a turn. So, something I've noticed about this app, however, is that uh, the person, the people doing it might need an adult to help read the instructions because if they're practicing phonics, chances are they may struggle with some of the instructions here. Okay. So we also have Endless ABC, which I talked about in my Early Learners um, online tutorial, but I'll look at it again. Oh, it looks like it's frozen. Oh dear. Well, okay, we'll try again. Exercise. This is a very colorful, very fun app. What I like about this app is that it's obviously designed for very young children, but it exposes them to a lot of different vocabulary that you don't often see. Sometimes with phonics, you get the same words over and over again, like A for apple, B for ball, etc. But this one has a different spin on it to make it new and interesting. Let's exit out of there. And lastly, we've got this phonemic awareness app. Again, there are so many apps out there. This is really just a glimpse. Okay, let's do blends. Let's see what happens if I get it wrong. Oh, it pops the bug back to me. Stupendous. Great. Well, there's a few different um, activities in that app. I hope this has been helpful so far. And remember, there's lots out there. It's just a matter of finding what's right for yourself um, with your teaching and for your students. Take care.